Several years ago, I wrote a book called The Noticer. In that story, I tell about meeting an old man at a time when I was a homeless and hopeless 23-year-old living under a pier on the Gulf Coast. The old man's name was Jones. Not Mr. Jones, just Jones. If you've read the book, you know that Jones taught me some things that changed my life forever. The old man's sometimes eccentric instructions included a priceless secret, the power of perspective. You see, Jones called himself a noticer. He'd say, when God was passing out the talents, I didn't get any of the cool ones. I can't run fast, I can't sing great, but I noticed little things that make a huge difference in people's lives. And true enough, when I was close to giving up, he taught me to look at what usually gets overlooked, the small stuff, the very important little things of life. Thanks to wisdom from this old man, I was able to regroup, take a breath, and start my life over again. Now, if you've read The Noticer, you know the book ended on a bittersweet note, describing what I thought was the last time I would ever see Jones. But I was wrong, because I found him again. It happened where I never would have expected, in a little town not far from where I live. After five years, I was about to go into a bookstore one day and suddenly, there he was. Of all things, Jones was in town to teach a parenting class and what I learned there started me on a fresh new journey. And the Andrews family? Well, we'll never be the same. I'm thrilled to have related the whole story in my new book, The Noticer Returns. It's curious, isn't it? So often what we think of as the end is really just another beginning. And all it takes for us to see that is a little dose of perspective. I can't wait for you to read it. The Noticer Returns. Really, he does.